Hi, and today I'm going to tell you about the Mughal Empire that ruled India for nearly 300 years. The Mughals were Muslims of Mongolian and Turkic descent. Did they bring Islam to India? No. It all started at the time of the Prophet peace be upon him, where traders came to India from Arabia and traded. Islam started to spread when the first mosque was built in 629 in Kerala. Years later, in 711, Muhammad bin Qasim, who was only 18 years old, was sent by the Umayyad Empire to conquer Sindh and Multan regions in modern-day Pakistan. He succeeded. Islam continued to spread and many conquerors came to India and ruled parts of India for the next 700 years. The parts marked in pink show the areas they conquered. They contributed vastly to the Indian subcontinent. After that, the Mughal Empire came. It was founded by Zahiruddin Barber. He was considered to be one of the greatest sultans. He didn't spend two Ramadan in the same place due to his many conquests. What did he do for the Mughal Empire? He established foundations for a successful empire. He built many roads, rivers and canals for all of the traders. The next great ruler was Jalaluddin Akbar. He expanded the empire further south, covering a large part of India. Akbar was able to build great relations with new other religions. He married a Hindu wife. He boosted the, the economy financially. Akbar was a Muslim, but later on, in his efforts to rule the empire, he introduced a new religion called Ilahi, which he included Islam, Hindu aspects, plus Christianity and Judaism. This was later banned by his grandchild, Aurangzeb. He really liked architecture, established many schools and built many great buildings. He abolished tax, which is jizya on non-Muslims. The next and final great ruler was Aurangzeb. What did he do for the Mughal Empire? He ruled for 52 years. He was head of his army. He was known to be a very competent leader. He expanded the empire. He expanded it financially as well. His empire was expanded to 4 million square kilometers. His empire was the world's largest economy at that time. The population was about 150 million. He was known to be a very pious Muslim. He ruled with justice. He spent as little money as he could on things that were not important. And even his grave was known to be kept simple. He crushed all of the brilliance in his empire except for the Marathas. Achievements of the Mughal Empire established one of the most successful empires in the world. Huge contribution to an economic and political field. Beautiful architecture building like Taj Mahal and Red Fort. Started the Urdu language and unified the currency. Established new trade routes to Arab and Turkish lands. If you enjoyed, we'd appreciate if you subscribed and liked. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.